So hey everybody. You're at 109 right now. Here I was uh, just leaving uh, Busan on my way to uh, Fukuoka. In Busan, there's a, it's a it's a port city, so there are fishermen and whatnot. And there is the ferry, the ferry that will take you from Korea to Japan and back from Japan to Korea. This is the uh, the ticket area in Korea where you, you purchase your ticket actually you have to purchase your ticket online um, which requires knowing Korean but by the time I, I took this trip I knew how to write read Korean and and all that kind of stuff the reason I would go to Japan is for this dish right here it was so delicious I wanted to have it as often as possible it's like some beef udon at Niku Niku Udon and Niku Niku means uh, 2929, I believe, or 9292. No, it's 2929. Niku Niku. Excellent. Excellent food. And this is the primary reason why I went to Japan. Fukuoka, to be specific. Fukuoka, Japan. <laughs> On this particular trip to Japan, I also um, was there. Well, for starters, I was there for that food, for that udon, and I was there to just enjoy myself, to get away from Korea for a few days be, before and around my birthday. It was for my birthday, right? Um, Nanako is a performer. She was just singing, and I met her at Goody's uh, Bar. And Nanako was having a show, and because uh, it was around my birthday, I was like, I'm going to that show. So Nanako and the girls from a particular band, I forgot the name of the band, the group. Um, well, they are like a soul R&B group. They fashion themselves as soul R&B, you know, singers, imp impressionists, impersonators. And it really wasn't, you know, derogatory, denigrating. It was cool. And they loved it. So they were wearing the wigs. They were um, everything. Their, their t-shirts were like Afro life. And, you know, the all free, what is it? Afro. Everything was about the Afro and everything was positive. So it was a very positive uh, black experience I was having in Japan. I was all for it and very happy to experience it. See, no afro, no life. The all free. <laughs> so just be free. Just be free to be who you are. You know, that's what it was all about. <laughs> 
no afro no life so they loved they loved you know the afro and just being natural and they were like a black man a real black man who can who has a real afro oh we love him we love him so i was kind of a star that night and that was all good that was all good <laughs> I was having a good old time out there at that Gates 7 uh, club. And um, I was just there to support Nanako, support, you know, the evening. And I was actually there to spy on them to see, like, really, what are they doing? And, you know, it was all good because there was no, nothing derogatory, nothing, um, you know, like, they weren't. They weren't secretly like trying to bash us, you know, black, black culture or whatever. This was admiration. This was love. This was appreciation. And this was just everybody was just having a good time, enjoying good music. And that music just happened to be some soul R&B music. So it was it was all good. Good vibes all around. I was the only black person. I was the only person of color there. You know, um, the ladies on stage were rocking their wigs, doing their best Supremes um, or Martha and the Vandals or whomever uh, impersonation they could do. But it was in lo it was out of love, admiration and, and just fun. Here I am with Nanako. Nanako still sings and, and does her thing. Yep. Pretty thing she is. Um, yeah, we met at Goodies. And she was like, come see my show. And I was like, bet, I'll be there. Definitely wanted to spy on them and see what was really going on. Wanted to get the real deal. But I was pleasantly surprised. There was no, you know, no bad vibes. All good vibes. Here's Nanako wearing um, one of the wigs. Putting on one of the Afro wigs. You know, doing her thing. I'm trying to speed through some of these photos. Here are the ladies performing in their Supreme-esque uh, attire with the Afros. I forgot the group's name. You might be able to Google them and find out their names. I did not Google them before recording this video. And uh, what else? They're going to perform again in a second. And I'm going to drop out and let you listen to their performance. So... Here we go. <laughs> Isn't that cute? I think that was just so cute. They did it. They did the thing. Everyone was rocking in there having a good time. It was very fun atmosphere i even got up and danced a little bit i didn't didn't mind didn't care it was all good <laughs>
So there you have it. They even got the the youngster involved. She she loved it. She loved the energy. She loved the partying. She put that the little afro uh, wig on, and she had a ball. And uh, thereafter, we took some uh, photos together, and they were excited. They were very quite excited to to take a photo with me. They were like, "Oh yes, we we definitely have to take a photo with him." You know, the melanated man. Yes, 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 yes. Look at that. The ladies came on over. They had uh, received their flowers. They were sporting their afros. And they were like, here we go. Taking our photo. Now, I was wearing my samurai shirt. Truth be told, I was all sorts of salty about my experience in Korea. I was ready to leave. That was one of the reasons why I was traveling to Japan so frequently. Three times in 2013, five times in 2015. Um, Had I been there in 2016, I probably would have tried to go six times and then seven times in 2017. Just tried to get away. But as I was saying, I was wearing that samurai. That t-shirt has Japanese script reading samurai. The Japanese and the Koreans don't have a history of... um, of, uh, of good vibes between them plenty of invasions and whatnot and because I was angry and frustrated in in Korea and going to Japan so often I was embracing the samurai <laughs> yeah it was it was pretty bad it was pretty bad you know I, I imagine it was definitely a passive-aggressive um, you know display on my part I never acted out or anything like that and I, I kept it all Zen but yeah, I definitely had, you know, uh, my time in Korea was definitely coming to an end. And me wearing a, sh- a shirt with Japanese script reading Samurai, you know, then that, that was very much indicative of how I felt about, you know, my time in Korea. Though Korea is a beautiful country, I just couldn't take it. You know, um, after living there for nine years and and finding that so many of my goals that I had set or that I I wanted to achieve, I had not met. And yeah, yeah, it was my fault, right? There I am wearing the samurai shirt. Yeah, I was in the mirror at uh, Goodies, just playing around, being silly taking some um, silly photos. Goody had all of the... I'm in the restroom. I'm in the restroom at Goody's right there in that picture, just taking photos, silly photos. Um, Goody had all of these um, advertisements from Soul and R&B events, you know, throughout the years, the 70s and 80s and whatnot, and probably even some hip-hop events. I remember seeing Ice Cube on one one of the posters. So he had a plethora of, you know, um, ephemera. Look at that all on the walls and stuff. I'm in the bathroom, y'all, taking photos, taking selfies. (laughs) I'm in the bathroom over there taking selfies in Japan. That's what I was doing. Um, There was just a lot of ephemera on the walls, and it was very cool. But anyway, the night that I was there... Um, I was enjoying myself. It were, there were a few days before my birthday, and I was in Japan, and I was just enjoying myself immensely. And that's what these photos represent. A good time had by me in Japan. That's what's up. Oh, and money was an issue. I wasn't making as much money as I wanted to in Korea, so that was another reason why I was frustrated. And I was looking for other opportunities, so I decided to branch out, and I wanted to um, do some online teaching. And I had to create a profile uh, video for online teaching. So I tried making it. So that's the last video you'll see. The profile. The video profile for my online teaching. Future online teaching career. And it went a little something like this. Hi. My name is Larry. And I want to help you learn English. 